This is Anna from Madame Sew. Today I want to show you the fastest way to buy the quilt. And to do that, we're going to use Madame Sew's bias binding foot. It comes with the Ultimate Presser Foot set. It's number 32, it's the last one. And it also comes with the bias making kit, which is fabulous. That's, this is what I used to make my binding today. Um, so I'm going to show you how to set it up, how to sew the binding, how to turn the corners, and then how to um, join the ends. Okay, let's get to it. All right, let me tell you a little bit how this works. You have this screw up here that will allow you to adjust, even if you cannot adjust the needle position on your machine, you can adjust the position of the edge in relation to your needle. And I'll show you once we put it on. And then with this screw here, you're gonna be sliding this piece, which is going to determine how wide the space is here uh, to accommodate a larger or narrower um, bias tape. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide the binding making sure that it goes into those channels. And now we need to fit the edge of the quilt. And I'm starting in about the center of one of the sides. I'm gonna pull the binding because you know, I have quite a few inches here free because I want some room to be able to join the ends when I come around the whole quilt. Okay. And now we need to slide the edge of the quilt. And now you can force this piece open a little bit. See, it's pretty flexible. And you wanna make sure that your quilt, that your binding, sorry, is still in the appropriate channels, but you can always readjust a little bit. So just push your quilt in there. Okay. And let's align the edge. Well, well, and you know what? Just to start, I'm just gonna put a pin here just to make sure that everything is, this is gonna move away from us so we can just leave it here. Okay, and now just making sure that everything is nicely aligned. And another thing that I like to do it's just so, because I'm gonna do this before I bring it to the machine, I'm just gonna put a clip, one of those fabulous wonder clips here to make sure that this doesn't come off while I'm manipulating it. And we're gonna bring it to the machine. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now we're just gonna lift that pressure foot holder, bring the whole thing under and just more or less align it. And then when you bring down the, the pressure foot holder, just catch the bar. There we go. And now we just need to make sure everything's straight. Make sure that the edge of your quilt is aligned with the fold. Remove those pins or clips, whatever you're using, and just start sewing slowly. And the presser foot is really doing all the work. All you need to do is to go slow and just make sure that the, the edge of the quilt is aligned with that fold. And just stop every so often, readjust, and keep going slowly. Okay, we're getting close to the corner, so we're just gonna slow down and just stop a little bit and fiddle with it just to see where you need to stop. You know, make a little bit of a um, fold there just to see where you're gonna stop. Okay, so you see, I've got into the, pretty much the corner, my needle is up, I cut my thread. And now I'm just going to lift the presser foot, release it, and bring the whole thing out. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna free it from, if I can, <laughs> that is. Okay, here we go. And now I'm gonna show you how to fold this nice cord. Look at that, and look at the other side. Ah, isn't that beautiful? It's like perfect every time. I really, really love this foot. It makes it, it, makes it so easy. Okay, now let me show you. 
the corner. Fold it, sandwich my quilt, align with the fold, and now I'm gonna secure the fold in the front, which is the one I really care about, let's be honest. And now the one in the back. Okay. And again, now while I manipulate the whole thing, I'm just going to leave that pinned. Oh, this is not going to work. Okay, this is what's going to happen. So see, now I'm really aligning it and I'm going to feed it again through the foot. But here it's going to happen. So let's readjust this fold. All right, now that's going to be better. it okay and now I'm just gonna do the same thing I did before I'm gonna feed yeah if I put it the right way that might work better here we go so I'm just gonna force this open a little bit and I'm gonna feed the whole thing through and you do have to fiddle with it a little bit but it's not terrible okay so now my Binding is in my channel and I'm going to have to force it open again a little bit. Now be careful, you don't want to break it and it can break. So just be a little gentle and fiddle with it, stretch it out. Okay. There we go. Here we go. And see, I am just going to aligning to the spot where I want to make sure this is, see, okay. make sure that it's in the right channel, okay? It's not in the wrong spot. There we go, perfect. So now again, while we manipulate, let's use a clip. Actually, I'm gonna put it pretty close here. So it doesn't move too much. And another one here just for extra safety. And you can find these clips at Madame Saw too, and I really think they're pretty fabulous. So see, I'm right there where I want to start, and maybe I'll move it even a little there. And I hope you can see it. It's right at the corner. Okay, now let's bring it back to the machine. And now, just like before, let's bring it under the pressure foot holder and make sure that the bar is caught there. And bring it down. There. Okay, so we have to readjust the quilt, make sure that, you know, it's not pulling. You don't want the weight of the quilt to be pulling on your needle or on the binding itself. So just making sure everything is free to move, including your binding. Okay, I'm going to remove this clip. I am going to make sure I am actually going to move my needle to the side. I could also manipulate that screw, remember? Okay, and I am going to bring the needle down. I'm a little nervous I'm going to hit that. Okay, I didn't hit it, but I did grab the fabric, so I'm going to pull this out. And I do have the other one still down there. Um, you know, if, you, if your machine has a knee lift, see, I'm lifting, I have my hands are free, and I'm lifting this with my knee. And that is really helpful for quilters. That pin is out now. And you can see that this is very high and that's because it's resting on all the folded fabric there. So I'm just going to put a little um, lift back there. Here we go. You can use a number of things. I have um, a ruler that's just the perfect thickness, but you can use folded paper. You can use a folded piece of fabric. There are a number of things that you can use. Just place it behind 
the fabric so I put it still under the foot and that will um, just lift it just enough let's make sure everything is straight here so that we can start sewing start sewing slowly just like before and you know things are a little crooked here so I'm just gonna stop I want to make sure that everything is nice and straight before I keep going I'm gonna keep going now and you know, I just go to the next corner, repeat the process, finish all my corners, and then I'm gonna show you how to join the ends. Okay, so I'll see you on the other side. Here we are at the end. We have both ends loose here. We stopped sewing a little bit there. We're gonna overlap them for an inch, which means we're gonna need to do a little bit of trimming here. Okay, now that that's trim, we're going to just fold it over and find the center. It's about a half inch. And use something to make a mark. I like my hair marker. It's my favorite and I, I'm going to press it really hard so I can get the mark on all sides. Um, and then I'll just open it up, pin right sides together and bring it to the machine. Now we're going to trim it to about a quarter of an inch finger press it open of course you can use your iron but finger pressing works and just fold it over and then we'll stretch it out and it should fit perfectly and be ready for us to sew it together okay all that's left to do now is use some clips to secure it together uh, make sure that the edge of the quilt is aligned with the fold of the binding Clip it together and then we're just going to use um, an edge binding foot or stitch in the ditch foot to sew it together. You don't have to use it, but it will make it easier. So as I said, I have my edge joining foot or stitch in the ditch foot and I'm going to align the very edge of my binding against that blade I'm going to bring the foot down and now I'm going to need to move my needle Oops. sorry and I need to make sure let's see let's bring the needle down and see if it's in the right spot nope one more all right now it looks like it's just aligned so I'm going to start with a few back stitches and again we're going to do this slowly there is no nobody timing us right so let's just do it slow slowly but surely keeping everything nicely aligned stitch at the end and there it is I hope this tutorial was useful if so please follow us on Madame So and I hope to see you on the next one